Hey team, welcome back to my channel. The source code for this video is available on my GitHub account. Check out software nuggets slash assembly. Look for the lesson, lesson one first assembly program. Now open up your favorite browser and go to mycompiler.io. In the drop down combo, select assembly. We're all ready to go. Let's do it. Lesson one of assembly. Notice the URL. This is mycompiler.io. When you get in there, just look for assembly. Now, yes, this is before Hello World, which is normally the first program, but there are just some things you have to know. The semicolon is used to begin a comment. So notice here's a comment, here's a comment, and then I use it over here as well. Now on line three and four, perhaps the most important thing of this lesson is telling you where the system call numbers and entry vectors are. Let me explain what that means. Type in syscall underscore 64 dot tbl. And here are the 64 bit system call numbers and entry vector. Now what does that mean? Well, notice on this line down here, we have a number and notice the format is number. ABI just refers to the application binary interface, the name and then the entry point. So when we're actually looking for a function, we need this file to figure out what this number is. That number is how we'll actually execute this function, sysread. Now in our example, we're going to be using the function press control F, search for sys exit. We have to remember 60 is assigned to sys underscore exit. The second Google search we'll do is syscall.h. Now once we get into this, we can actually get the function signature. So we're going to control F. Notice I'm looking for sys underscore exit. Notice on line 538, we have found our method sys exit. Now this right here is called the function prototype. And some people also call this the function signature. And here we can see the return value, the function name, and the input parameters. Notice this function only takes one parameter, an integer, and that integer's name is error code. So this program's only goal is to exit. It doesn't do anything else. That's why we're calling this before hello world. So we went out to syscall64.tbl and we found sysexit is 60. And that's the system call number. So we're going to say move rax comma 60. This puts 60 into this register. Now on line 14, we're going to be using the register RDI and we're going to put four into that. Now notice the signature of this function sys exit. It's the error code. So when I execute this, notice over here the exit code is four. When assigning values to input parameters, we use these registers. Here you can see the order of their usage. You can see for syst exit has one parameter and that parameter will be assigned to the RDI register. Now, after we get done loading up this system call number, we populate the value for this parameter error code. We then can call syscall and that will actually execute the program and here's our output. Now, if I come over here and turn this into like seven and then execute this, Notice the return value of that function is 7.